Hello and welcome to a new Minecraft mod installation video. This will be a video on how to install Industrial Craft 2 for a server. This one's actually very easy to install. It's uh, not like uh, the client. It, there's actually less steps towards it. So first of all, we want to get a new Minecraft server. Server jar. This, there's the thing is, in the Minecraft download section, there's multiplayer server. But under here you can see there's minecraft.exe. You don't want that one because you can't mod that one. You want to make sure you download this, minecraft.jar. So if you download that, keep it, put that on the desktop, and then we'll be good. Now we're going to make a new folder. And call it whatever, we'll just call it minecraft server. And then we want to put that right in there. So now we have his Minecraft server. We'll just double click it to run it. It'll generate all the necessary files you'll need for the server. Then we'll be able to start modding it. There, generated all the necessary files. So that's good. Next, we need to install Minecraft Forge. And that's all we need to install. We don't need any other mod loaders or anything because this has its own multiplayer uh, mod loader now. So you would go to forge.net I'll have a link in the description as always for everything that you'll need industrial craft forge and all that for forge you want to make sure that you download the server because it's 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 important because these are two different things clients for client servers for server so if you want to support them download with adfly if you want to just get it quickly download with direct now we'll drag that out here we can close that Next, we're going to want to get Industrial Craft, the actual mod. So you're going to have there's going to be the link in the description to get Industrial Craft. It'll bring you up to this page. You're going to want to click download Industrial Craft for Minecraft 1.2.5 or the version that you're using at the moment, which could be any time in the future. I don't know when you're watching this, but the installation instructions could be different. So if it's not 1.2.5, check if I've made another video on how to install this properly. So right here you would click for the, your late, the latest version and download the server. You want to make sure you get the server because again it's pretty different from the client. You can only have the server. Download the server. Keep. I'll put that on here too. And now we're ready to start modding. So now we want to open that with WinRAR Archiver. And like client modding you have to delete the mid INF but in modding a server you don't you don't need to delete anything all you have to do is put in Minecraft Forge and then put the mod in the mods folder but to get the mods folder to generate and all that you're gonna have to run the server again after you put in Minecraft Forge it'll have a whole bunch of new stuff saying it's uh, generated uh, loading mods and stuff from Forge mod loader and it's making different worlds and stuff. You can see there's a whole bunch of new files and stuff here. That's for the Forge mod loader. Forge mod loader. So next we're going to open up the mods folder. Now we just drag and drop the industrial craft to server into there. And then we successfully put industrial craft 2 on server. As you can see, uh, it'll say Industrial Craft 2. See, post initializing mod Industrial Craft 2. Mod post initialization complete. So it loaded Industrial Craft 2 just fine. So now you just join in with Industrial Craft 2 on your uh, client and you're ready to play Industrial Craft with your friends. So thanks for watching. If you could subscribe, leave a rating, it means a lot.